Hello, everybody. Prince of the Bear here. We're back at Universe Studios yes. for San Francisco Pastry Company. Pastry Company. Yes. Um, maybe they have something vegan? We'll find out. We're, I guess we're going to find out. We've never been in here, so we're going to go see if they got some munchies for us. We should eat plants. I suppose you heard the girl. Start your day the right way, the mimosa way. And I really do appreciate the fact that the team member allowed me to tell him how much orange juice to put in this. Be that it's a $12 drink and you get like, what is this, half a glass? It is very good though because there isn't a lot of orange juice in it, which is how I like it. Because I got to specify that pour. I'm going to give this a four and a half out of five mimosas. This is a good one. It just needs more liquids. Princess and her mimosa will not be parted at any time. Cheers to you guys. Champagne with a splash of orange juice for color. It's about what I expect from a princess mimosa. Three and a half out of five plus. Choppy Cannon IPA. All of their beers are vegan friendly. Apparently they have a pineapple one too. Oh. They're not messing around when they say citrus. This is like orange and lemon combined. It's, it's a very interesting flavor and some grapefruit in there too. You can certainly taste all of the citrus. I'm going to give this a three and a half out of five citrus because it's it lives up to the name it's just not good in my opinion don't ask me why i always turn those it's a habit i don't remember where i picked that up at it's probably a duval thing either way uh tropic cannon ipa uh, i'm expecting this to be absolutely terrible i don't like ipas yet i see something new and i want to try it for you guys in the community so uh the two things i hate ipas and a lot of citrus mm. Uh, I'm awake now, very much awake. A little sleepy before that, but uh, that will slap you in the face. There's that much citrus in it. Um, agreeing with the Princess Synopsis, I definitely taste grapefruit, orange. Is that coriander maybe too as well? But there's a lot of stuff in there. Uh, I think this is probably as close to what you consider a, a manmosa, I guess if you want to call it that. But uh, I don't hate it. Honestly, it's strong, but I, I can drink this. It's got a drinkability factor to it that most IPAs that I taste do not. Three and a half out of five plus. It's always a bad idea to start with dessert, but we're in a theme park, right? So there's no rules. This one feels a lot like the original vegan brownies that we've seen, the Skulls and the Squares. It's less, less sticky, so I appreciate that. The snowflake looks like an eyeball to me. It's very moist, which I like. But it tastes like all the other chocolate brownies. Two and a half out of five brownies. I'm glad this one is smaller than the skull or the square because it's very rich. I'm, I have like a little Ziploc bag. I'm gonna put this in because I'm not gonna be able to finish this. Man, the class and culture. Ooh. I just got a strong whiff of fish from Lombard's next door. Uh, I'm gonna use a spoon to eat this brownie because I don't like sticky brownie fingers. A spoon? A spoon. I'm gonna use a spoon. I'm gonna even use a fork. A spoon or a fork? I'm gonna use a spoon. For brownie. No shame. You will get points from Universal instantly, even though it's the same brownie that we've been getting now for who knows how many years. It's decorated differently. And it's a different shape. That's all I'm asking for. No complaints about that. Let's see how it actually tastes. 
the big chocolate boy. I think the snowflake, which I agree does look like an eye, provides a perfect amount of icing and sort of like contrast the flavor on top of the brownie. You know me, I'm not a huge sweet person, but I would eat this. Four to five plus. We have the beautiful vegan croissant. I have had this croissant one time before um, at Today Cafe for breakfast. They also do a pressed sandwich there that they do offer at this bakery as well. I didn't order that, but if you do want to see our review of that, we have a link in the description box down below for our Today Cafe food review. So let's try this croissant. I'm just gonna take a little piece here off the side. Look at all that goodness in there. Ooh, I almost gotta take, this is like a sweet spot right here. Nice and moist. It's so good. I wish that everyone had these croissants available because I would eat them every day. I don't give it a four and a half out of five croissants. It's almost my dream croissant. I just want some like, I want it to be warm and I want earth balance butter and then I'd be good. The princess is a bread connoisseur or it's to me bread is bread. It's like tacos, like everything is just a different kind of variation of uh, a tortilla wrapped in something. Bread is just different shaped bread with stuff in it. I do appreciate these croissants. The fact that they do have plant-based ones in different flavors, no less, unlike some other places we know, Disney. Um, nice little hollow croissant here. I wish it was like, you know, warm and fresh. It does feel like it's been sitting for a bit, but hopefully it doesn't affect the flavor any. Mmm. All right. Ice and flaky. I'm falling apart. Very good croissant. Now, while the princess wants earth balance butter, I want jam because, you know, jam over butter. I'm sure you guys pick a side. I would say it's an above average croissant. Three out of five plus. Welcome to my first elderberry croissant. Now, Bear just asked for a croissant with jam. I'm pretty sure that this is going to meet that need. Go ahead and crack this open. Oh yeah. Get all that elderberry in there. It's a little hollow, but that's fine. It reminds me of Ikea. Hmm. It almost tastes like a cherry but not as tart. I really like that. I like that a lot. I'm gonna give that a four out of five. It's good. It's very e. If you like like a, a nice filled pastry, this, this will definitely get the job done. Four out of five elderberries. Fillings in things. Let's see if it uh, fills me up. Nice and flaky. It's a, I would say even flakier than the regular croissant. But nice little elderberry innards. Evenly spread. It's not filled. And it's not a donut, so I don't want it filled. But I've seen even spread of the, of the elderberry. Okay. That is literally my jam. Pun intended. Four and a half out of five plus. That is delicious. Digging in the magical bag here. What am I looking for? Nope, not a hand wipe. Nope, not a shout wipe. Nope, not a camera lens wipe. I'm looking for a wipe at all. Ah, there we go. Magic pills. Because Buddha is not good for me. So, what we have here is their supposedly hot turkey sandwich. We got uh, three chips of bacon, which is generous. A huge honking slice of gouda. And then you have turkey, like, hiding underneath that. Very interesting. And then a, some sort of, like, sauce on top. 
on, a, on the ciabatta here, so it is sauce. It's not just dry, thankfully, but let's get this magic pill in me so I don't murder myself. They had a couple albums for sandwiches, you know, a Capri sandwich. They had a, it's a pretty generous helping of turkey in the bottom. I thought it was a couple slices, but it's like deli flash turkey in the bottom. So turkey to cheese ratio is not as bad as I thought it was. A little cross section. It's pretty thick. Big boy. Let's hope the flavor stands out. Mmm. Alright. I'm kind of feeling that, I'm not gonna lie. The Gouda does seem quite large, but with the amount of turkey on it, they bounce perfectly. The right amount of sauce out being saucy. The bacon is nice and crisp, and the ciabatta is nice and toasted. So, I wouldn't say hot turkey. I would say slightly above warm, but it's still a really good sandwich, and one that I don't feel bad about because you got turkey sandwich with the bacon, and then you got a little slaw salad, and then a little side of fruit. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I was completely prepared to trash the sandwich, but it's actually pretty good. I would say four out of five plus. I would definitely, if their menu has any sort of rotation, come back and try some of the others, if this one is this good. Then we have this slaw slash salad. I say slaw slash salad because like, it's like shredded like slaw, but there's also some lettuce and stuff in here as well. A little weird. Still this taste. That's not my favorite. The lettuce is weird. You taste a lot of that at the front. It's like mayo-y lettuce, shredded broccoli and carrot. Mm. Two out of five claws. Not my favorite slaw. Maybe you're supposed to put it in a sandwich? I'm not putting it in a sandwich. Then you have a nice piece of cantaloupe with the skin on. I'm not mad about that. You something to hold. Mm. Nice and fresh cut. Definitely hasn't been sitting. That I approve of. Three out of five claws. <laughs> a single strawberry. Which seems almost like a garnish, but I'm never going to refuse the strawberry. Mm. The fruit. Even the fruit of four out of five claws are freshness. Definitely not something that's been like held all day. Fresh, crisp fruit with a nice sandwich and a side of greens. As far as theme park food goes, you could do far less healthy than this. Overall, I'm giving a plate a three and a half out of five. Well, the slob brings it down a bit, but I still think this is worth getting if you want to like lunch. San Francisco uh, Pastry Company. Uh, it was a much better experience than I expected it to be, and I really enjoyed it. I expect that to be a better quick stop place for us in today cafe, which Always seems to be ridiculously crowded. I like Today Cafe. Plus, it's like right there it. in the front. So, like, if you come before it's open, it's there, it's ready to go. I'm, I'm here for it. I think there's nice about them, but I would definitely come back here. Something changes, or something else in the menu pops up that I sure. want to try. And most definitely, for those croissants, the princess will definitely be back. Oh, yeah. But I want to know have you guys been to San Francisco uh, Pastry Company? If so, let us know in the comments. If you think there's a better place to stop for a quick snack here at Universal, if all means the comments are a place to find us, hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. And if you don't comment, well, I guess no more pastries for you? You heard the girl.